recording now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try doing a little bit of a vlog for the, my first time going to Mid-Ohio with Grid Life this year. Uh, it's going to be the main voyage with the new to me pickup and trying out some different aero stuff on the front of the Cutlass. But otherwise it's going to kind of be uh, what it takes for me to do all this traveling and try to run new tracks each year. Uh, for instance, I just did five and a half, almost six hours of overtime at work yesterday and I went in early and worked through my lunch break so we could try to get going at a decent time today. We got six hours to go to stop with some friends in uh, Mishkot, Wisconsin and that's not even halfway so we're going to have to finish it up tomorrow. But uh, it's, I mean, it's a lot of driving and it's a lot of putting in the time but we'll see how it goes. Wisconsin. Now we're continuing on to our stop for the night. We checked the fuel mileage of the truck for the first time. Surprisingly, got out of there for less than 100 bucks. Uh, got 12.7 according to what the dash is saying. But I was doing the math from home down to here for the gallons I put in. It's showing 12.4, which is pretty surprising because the old truck had been averaging about 11.3, give or take some. So to be Hopefully a mile a gallon up on that be pretty good. That was running a steady 65 So now we're gonna run 70 the rest of the way tonight and see how much it changes And whether or not the little bit of time savers worth how much extra fuel it's gonna cost Also had to you know we're gonna make sure we got some cheese curds made in Wisconsin a good snack to have on the road And away we go
All right, well, we've just gotten up from sleeping in a bit because we got down here to the Schmitz farm where we got to have uh, dinner with friends and stuff last night and put us up for the night. And of course, we ended up uh, hanging out, carrying on till past midnight. So now we need to really hit the road. Um, got about another eight hours today, fingers crossed, because Chicago, you never know. I can always add an hour, if not two. So, I'm gonna try to get going and be over to the Mid Ohio when the gates open at seven. Pretty much assume that's gonna be local time, but yeah, it's another. We, uh, middle of Indiana somewhere to stop for dinner got another three hours to go to the track about just under 200 miles or whatever pulled into this little uh, nowhere town to stop at this the old train station super cool building inside burger was good um, kind of neat little spot and we're like half a mile off of US 30 it's good food all right, well, we got in at like 10 o'clock last night. Our eight or nine hour trip turned into 13, thanks to some food stops, which was only like an hour and a half of that, and then traffic and big, long, ridiculous detour for no reason, through, because the on-ramp was closed at the one exit we took. Um, but whatever, we made it here. We got here before the gates closed, got set up in the dark, got the car unloaded. I just finished putting all the aero stuff back on it. Uh, got the tire pressure set, the shocks turned up. So got first session to go out here in about half an hour and we'll see how Mid-Ohio is for the first time.
got back from our first session. It is very humid out here. Um, ran the full session, hot laps the entire time. I barely had any traffic, but uh, kept looking for improvements. Um, it's definitely a interesting track. You really got to think about what you're doing. But uh, I don't know. See how. Uh, I don't know how I did it to anybody else, but lap times. Look, okay, I did a 141.87 with an optimal of 141.65. That's pretty tight. Usually I'm a lot further apart on those, but uh, there's still places to improve. I know the um, turn two hairpin, it's that one I tried to run a line that I'd seen online and it was better for me to just stay wide and carry speed through it I saw. So um, there's that, I know definitely coming into China Beach, the big braking zone, like I've been being real easy going into there. I feel like I got five, six, seven, eight, okay. Um, there's definitely room in 11 and in the carousel, but uh, we got two more sessions today. I assume it's only gonna get hotter, so we'll see what happens. But overall, pretty good for my first time on track here. pretty hard there for a little bit and we had uh, probably a half an hour delay on getting time attack out at which point it was just an open session because it was soaking wet and everybody's talking about how slippery it is here in the rain but uh, you know, I went out wanted to just get more laps in there and yeah it was super slick uh, even on the out lap there I had a area where I was at full steering lock for probably a couple hundred feet but just kind of kept everything the same without changing it, waited for the car, to, the grip to come back and kept it on track without too much fuss. Uh, then ended up letting a car by the next lap there and I don't know what he did but he got a little squirrely on the back stretch and it was the slowest crash I've ever seen in my life. Like he just saw him turn and then it was just slow trek and he just bumped the wall. Um, I don't know, I went by it earlier there. It looked like all I did was bang up some plastic and stuff. So he's okay by the looks of it. So that's good. But otherwise, the uh, weather's getting nice. It's starting to dry out again. So I got another session coming up in an hour and a half or two hours, something like that. So hopefully by then it'll be full dry and be able to try to get some more flash slaps in. Just got back in from the last session of the day. Picked up another .7 after track dried out. I mean, it's not completely dry, but there didn't have to hold anything back, was able to push. Um, tire pressures are right on, so that's looking good. Uh, it's looking like I'm getting a little bit of uh, more speed that I could have through turn one, but it starts to get a little dancy, so probably gonna stick some more rear wing angle in it for tomorrow. Uh, I might drop the rear tire pressures just a hair to see if I can get a little more bite out of them that way. But I mean, otherwise the car's handling well. Um, I am bottoming out the splitter between eight coming off of the hill and eight and going into nine. So I'll probably end up uh, adding a little bit of compression to the front to try to take care of that. But then I'll have to stay off the curbs because otherwise I set it up a little soft today for being able to ride some curbing. But. I think if I try to carry any more speed through over eight and into nine there, and just I'm smashing the splitter. So things to look at for tomorrow morning. And this is the first lap of GLTC race one.
got done watching GLTC race number two. So it's the first one today on Saturday. Um, I'm getting suited up. Uh, time Attack A is out there right now. B's about to go out. Um, I was at the very back of B yesterday, but as I'm like six and group C today for going out. Um, just got the car checked out, you know, checking the oil, the coolant, um, power steering fluid, all that stuff. Um, I did end up making the shock adjustment and the wing adjustment, so we'll see how that uh, feels this morning and go from there. got in from first morning session, uh, went out with the adjustments there, the car felt great, went and immediately knocked 1.2 off of my best, uh, got down to a, uh, let's see here, got down to a 139.97 and it definitely felt like there was way more speed to be had in turn 1 and turn 11 and even some in turn 9 yet. So, car's feeling great. Might make a little bit more adjustment or just leave it as it is for the next session. Where they get hotter, I don't know that it'll actually be a little faster, but maybe just uh, work on trying to make some changes as far as the car feel that way this evening when it starts cooling down or tomorrow morning session. We've got a good chance of going quite a bit faster.
Well, I just got in from last session of Saturday. I just, it's hot. I rinsed my head off in the garden hose. It's handier right by our pits. But I tried to give it five hot laps. It just, I could get a few tenths ahead through turns one and two, and then the car just would not turn in four and five. And I just, uh, tire's too hot. The engine was the hottest it's been all weekend by five, six degrees. It just, I think it's too hot to do anything. And it appears that I've toasted these tires now. I'm getting, I only had one of these before, but now I'm getting it pulling there in multiple places. But, oh yeah, even more down there. But they're pretty well used up. I mean, it was about this number of events last year when the tires were toast, but I've done way more hot laps this year thanks to the suspension mods. Uh, makes the tires last a lot longer, so. Got a new set of tires up there on the trailer. They'll be going on in the morning, and hopefully with some cooler temps, we'll be able to finally cut another few tenths or even a second off at the time. It would be awesome, but we'll see what we get tomorrow. Uh, you know, I'm really excited for it. It is Sunday morning. Got a new set of tires yeah, on the car. I haven't made any other adjustments. Um, obviously, it's dripping. Um, obviously, not going to go faster this session, but no, I'll just go out and try to break in the new tires a little bit without pushing them too hard and try again this afternoon, I guess. Oh, well, eat at home. I'm tired and worn out. Um, didn't do much filming yesterday for all the rest of Sunday went because it, uh, I don't know, it was just too dang hot to make anything happen. Um, it, I mean, first session maybe, but by the time it got to first session, the humidity and the heat had already shot up so high. I mean, the car was running five to 10 degrees hotter than it had been all the rest of the weekend. Um, it, it was so bad that taking my fire suit off, like my entire leg was just slick with sweat. It was not good for me, <laughs> like dehydrated and just, I don't know, I'm not built for the heat like that. But went out and tried anyway, and the car was about, the car and I was probably about a second off, second, second and a half off pace, and then by the time I got to the afternoon session Sunday, it was two or two and a half seconds slower than what I did uh, Saturday afternoon. And, I don't know, it was just hot, and at that point we were trying to get packed up and start coming back. It is now Monday at, like, 5 p.m. Finally made it home. We left the track at about 2.45 yesterday. Um, <clears throat> drove a few hours, stopped and had dinner with some friends on the way home, and then drove another five hours to stop off at the farm again and try to get some sleep, and that was about all I had in me anyway to keep driving. It was already... Um, 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning by that point in time, caught a couple hours of sleep and then finished making the trip back today. Uh, I don't know, this is a shorter trip than going to Colorado, but it sure seems like it was longer, but I mean the whole weekend was just hot and humid and I'm not built for that kind of stuff. Um, car did good though, car still in one piece. Um, Tried out even with the new tires there on Sunday. It just it didn't happen for trying to go any faster. So um, I don't know. It's just yeah, it is what it is. I still had a a good weekend. It was fun uh, for the first time. I don't know. I still kind of feel I don't know. I'm not sure about the Mid Ohio as far as the track. It's it's definitely technical. Um, you got to think ahead a lot. Uh, the elevation change, all that stuff. Like, it should be fun, but I felt like I had just had to think about it too hard <laughs> for it to, like, truly fall in as a fun, 
factor, but I mean, definitely had a good time driving it. It was nice to try a new track this year. But, I don't know, I'm home, I'm tired, I'm gonna unpack all this stuff. It's nice that I got five weeks before the next event, which will be Proving Grounds at Brainerd, so that'll be a nice close one. And if I have time to do some things to the car, great. If not, uh, I mean, I got a bunch of stuff around the house here to need to get done too in the time, that meantime. So, yeah, I guess that's all I got.